Hi, this is Financial Matters with Pastor Rocky. And today I wanted to bring up a subject that's been hitting pretty much the news right now. It's about a, I believe, a 14-year-old boy who set out a goal to, to raise money so that he can take his girlfriend out. And they call her Shorty. But anyway, the headline says, Corpus Christi teen selling bottled water goes viral. He raises $1,400 by selling bottled water. Can you imagine? Now, let's ask ourselves a question. How did this team make all this money in such a small time frame? Well, one of the things that I like to do is I like to analyze things. And, and I always say that your expenditures, the things that you purchase, if you can minimize that cost, by doing that, you can sell at a higher rate and maximize your profit margin. So let's look at this. I looked up right here on Google. I'm gonna bring it up here. You probably can't see the screen, but excuse me. Maybe if I can press share screen, there we go. I think you can see it there. Well, here I, I looked up HEB and I looked, if you see right here, let me see, maybe, okay, there we go, I think. I'm new to this, please forgive me if I have it wrong. But if you see right here, I looked up water, okay? Now this water right here, you can see a 40 pack is for $5.57. A 24 pack, $3.41. Another one, $3.83. There's different types of waters. Even a six pack is Fiji and different ones. But the goal here is to maximize your profit margin, okay? So what this, this young team had a bright idea. He said, if I can sell water, I could make money. I could raise funds. And then I could take my girlfriend out. So let's look at this concept together. I'm going to bring up the calculator here. Move it over to the share screen over here. All right. Okay. So for 557, no tax because water is not taxable. He buys a 40 pack of water. That's four zero forty waters. All right, now let's look at this. If this team sold this bottle of water for two dollars because he's fundraising per bottle, let's just say two two dollars times forty. That's eighty dollars. Okay, now. Let's keep in mind that there was a cost, right? When you do business, there's a cost to everything. So that 40 pack of water cost him $5.57. So now we minus the $5.57. And this investment that he made for $5.57 turned into a $74.43 profit margin. You mean to tell me that he spent almost $6 and made $74.43? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. You see, when you have a product, it's, it's best if you can buy the product or make a product at minimal cost. And when you create this product, then you turn around and, and sell that product for a higher price. Now, one bottle of water was only $2. You say, well, that's that's not much. Well, let's, let's look at it. Let's look at this together. Okay. Let me see if I do the math right. Let's see. 557, which is the cost of the water pack. Well, it tells us right here. 
14, 14 cents per bottle in that pack. So they got that by, I believe, dividing by 40, which is how many waters? You had about 13.9%. So if we were to just, let's look at it from a different perspective. We sold them for $2, so $2 subtract 13 cents, or we'll go 14 cents, that's fine. He made a dollar eighty six per bottle with an investment of fourteen cents per bottle. How about that? He flipped his money. I'm telling you it is possible it is possible if you can like I said, if you can create a product or even purchase a product at minimal cost and with a fair price increase the price and turn around and resell it. That's how you make your money. Make it, it takes money to make money, but you have to be smart with your money because if he would have bought, let's say the Fiji water, right? There's only six in, in a bot in, in a pack. So he's, he would be buying these right here a six pack of water it's almost a dollar 7 i think it is per water so imagine if he would have sold those for 2 dollars it would have made very minimal profit but if you can buy a, a 40 pack even if it was 20 it's mo multiple ones so how i wonder how many packs he sold so we say, okay, let's let's go with this. Let me see, clear. All right. If each pack is, we said, let me see the math, five, no, 40 times two is 80, and he made $1,400, $1,400 divided by 80, because that's how much you make in a pack. He sold 17 and a half packs of water and he made $1,400. So 17.5 waters, he invested, I mean, I'm sorry, 17.5, 40 packs of water. He invested, it was multiply, 5.57. He invested less than $100 and he made $1,400. I'm telling you, it's possible. Just the other day, I was talking to a friend of mine. And a friend of mine, he he sells candy apples. He buys the candy apples wholesale in a box. And I forget how many comes in there, about 80, 88 to 100 apples. So what he does, he gets the apples and he, he makes uh, candy apples. So there's a little bit more cost to to each apple but then he turns around and he sells the apples at a minimal cost in which he believes is fair and i think it's i think it's a little bit for the quality of these apples i believe he can sell them for a higher price but he chooses to maintain his price at a low rate at three dollars per candy apple now if he buys a case of apples let's see here at one case of apples at 38 dollars Right? Okay. I'm going to clear that. And then he gets 100 apples in that pack, in that box, and he makes 100 candy apples. And then he sells those 100 candy apples for $3. He made $300. Now we have to subtract the cost of the apples, the box. And then maybe we'll just say, we'll add an additional $5 for the mix, which probably don't even cost that much, but just to get an idea. He made a return of $257 on his investment of $38 per box. That's a lot of money. I'm telling you, when you start to look at the math and begin to analyze different things, 
you can tell yourself, yes, I can make money. I can do all things. And as a preacher, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. The Bible says that wisdom knocks on the door. You can read it in Proverbs. It says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Not only the Lord, but also wisdom, because he says to ask for wisdom, he'll give it to you. So I want you to think. I want to task you with something. I want you to think, what can you do? Now, I'm not telling you to quit your job or anything like that. But what can you do extra to invest in yourself or a product and then maximize that profit? Purchase something or create something at a minimal cost. And you might have to contract it out. But if you contract out something, let's say you're going to make a doghouse for say. Okay. If you have somebody that would, would make it for you, you buy the materials for it. You pay him to do the work. But now you can turn around and sell that or make it available on, on your Facebook there's, there's marketplace, there's uh, different types of uh, opportunities. There's also farmer's markets and different things. But you buy the material, you pay the contractor, you don't even touch it. He paints it, makes it for you at a cost. You invest in that product, and then you turn around and you upsell it. So let, let's say that the doghouse, the material and everything may be cost with material today, I'd say $150 maybe. And then he charges you another $50 to, to make it. So now we're looking at maybe a cost, $200, $250 for the doghouse, depending on how it is, how big it is, and everything else. $250. Now, I'm going to do some research here. And I'm going to look for, let's see, tractor supply. We're going to go to Tractor Supply. All right. And we're going to look just to see how much a doghouse can be sold for. Pet vet. Okay, this one's pretty cheap. That one's probably real small. $200. This one right here, average, average $500 for this doghouse. Which I can minimize this. Let's see if I can. Yeah. This one's $184. This is very, very cheap material. $154, which don't look like a very big doghouse. And you can probably make something like that cheaper. But I'm trying to give you an idea on things that you can invest in and sell it without even touching it. There's a lot of people that that's, this is what they do for a living. And instead of you having a hard time, maybe breaking your head or trying to learn a new skill, you can hire somebody as long as they work with you. And if, if it's feasible, as far as cost, you invest the money in the person and in that product. And when you get that product, as long as it's feasible, you upsell the product. Make it available. People are looking for dog houses, chicken coops, bird houses, different things. Uh, if you can turn around and flip it, you can make money. But remember this. Quantity is very important. One water bottle, $2. Right? So you're making... $1.87 profit. Now, if I was just selling one water bottle, that'd be really no, not much money, right? But the more in quantity that you sell, the more the profit margin grows. So now if I sell 10 water bottles, 10 times 187 is $10.87 that I'm making profit off the 10 water bottles.
with a minimal investment. Remember the 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 water bottles only cost I think it was fourteen cents or seven cents, something like that. So a dollar forty, ten dollar and fourteen cents. You can't beat it. So I wanted to inspire you today just to to think outside the box. Ask yourself, what can I do? And and like I said, you you might tell yourself, well, I don't have the skills. I don't know how to do it. And you might not have the skills to build something. This kid grabbed water and he flipped the water and he made $1,400 in a small period of time. He didn't have a storefront. He didn't invest a whole lot of money in a website. Nothing like that. All he did was he bought the water let people know what he was doing and why he was doing it. And people saw this young man trying to do something and they supported him. Now, when I worked in a doctor's office back in the days, I convinced the doctor that worked there to allow us to sell water bottles, even at $1 a piece, $1 a piece for those that came in. And you see, we had what we call a captive audience. Very, very important. It's one of the hard, hardest things to do in business is get people engaged or to get in front of people and tell them what you're doing. But since we had an office, people would come in. So what we did was bought a 40 pack of water and actually I bought Gatorade too. And, and the Gatorade was a little bit more expensive because of course it costs more at a le at lesser quantity, more cost. So the water is definitely more uh, more value. So we bought the 40 pack of water. We sold them at a dollar a piece. Now we didn't make the $80, but for a $5 and 67 cents or 80 cent investment, we made the $40 minus that, which is about 30, 34, 30 something per pack. So what we did with that money was we're able to gather it and then have an office party, a celebration whenever somebody had a birthday. We used it for extra extra things, just accessories here and there. When the month was low, well, we can tap into our water fund if we had to. What I'm saying is there's opportunities out there. You just have to ask yourself, what can you do? If you don't have the skill, hire somebody. If you don't have the know-how, pray, ask God, hey, Lord, I need some wisdom. I need some extra income. What can I do so that I can provide for my family or just have a little bit more meat on the table? So I hope I inspire you today to think outside the box. This is Financial Matters with Pastor Rocky. Think outside the box and have a blessed day.